Now we will do a basic demo showing Fru's self-service feature of manual upload and download. First, we will log into the site as an instance admin in order to view the overall setup of the flow. Fru supports users to be associated with a particular organization. This way, users can only view that organization, its activity, and the flows it's subscribed to. Now, if we click the Organizations tab, we can see the organizations that have been set up for this demo, Partner 1 and Partner 2. In Partner 1, we can see an endpoint has been created, which is an upload endpoint. If we click over to the Partner 2, we can see a similar endpoint. Both organizations have been subscribed to a flow called Manual Upload, Manual Downloads. In this example, we are showing how organizations can upload and download files manually. Partner 1's endpoints get mapped to Partner 2 endpoints. Partner 2's endpoints get mapped back to Partner 1's endpoints. If we check the endpoint settings and go to the Mapping tab, we can see Partner 2 to Partner 1, and then Partner 1 to Partner 2. Both partners have the option to upload files manually, and the partners also have the option to download the files manually. So if we go into the admin section and we look at the users, we can see partner one and partner two are not administrators. This is where you can create users like partner one, who can be only associated with a single organization. When you do this, a self-service portal is created where the user can log in and manage their organization to a degree. We will now log out and log back in as partner one. When Partner 1 logs in, they see only the details associated with them. We can click on the Organization tab and again, only see Partner 1. So, if we click on the Manual Flow, we can upload a file which will be distributed to Partner 2. When we click on the Actions menu, we can see the Upload function is made available. And this allows the user to drag and drop or choose files that need to be uploaded. We would choose a few files to upload. Now the files have been uploaded, we can close this window. If we move over to view the activity, we can see the files have been uploaded and can track how long it took. In this case, there's no need for partner one to know where the files are going. They just know they're part of a flow that allows them to upload their files. Fru exposes the target, but without showing where the target endpoint is. At this point, we can log out of Partner 1 and log back in as Partner 2. We see a similar space set up for Partner 2 as Partner 1. Partner 2 can only see themselves and the flows they're subscribed to. Perhaps they've received an email notification that the files from Fru are ready for download. Here we can see, if we go to the Activity tab, that the files have been made available for Partner 2 for download. And then the process is complete.